Hey everybody, welcome back. Summer is half over, sorry to give you the bad news. We're halfway through it, enjoying our time here. But if your mind started to shift a little back to fall, the start of schools, maybe your house, were you thinking of moving and you just haven't had any like solid plans going forward? We're gonna to talk to two of the moms on our team, Chantelle Schakowsky and Katie Lucan, about upsizing and school districts. All right, so schools and upsizing. And because you both have kids, congratulations. <laughs> now that, you know, it's kind of top of mind, but let's talk school districts first. Because when you first bought your house and you've been in there three years now? Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. um, you weren't married and you didn't have kids. Right. That's changed. Yes. <laughs> so, changed fairly quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we talk about this with our first time home buyers, like don't assume, don't make assumptions like, oh, I'll just move because I want to be in that school district over there, but I can find a house here. Right. So, yeah. So for us, um, it was a big thing. Like we kind of bought this house being like, oh, it's our house for a little bit then we'll move, that kind of thing. But it wasn't a school district that we did like, so if we did happen to stay there a little bit longer, we were gonna be fine. Um, but now that appreciation isn't skyrocketing every right. year, um, we're really glad that we are in a spot where we can stay and like still build equity in our home. Right. So, and that's one thing that I always tell my buyers too, is to make sure that you can be in that house for like five to seven years mm -hmm. and that you're okay with your kids going to that school district and stuff like that because um, time flies and things happen quickly. Yeah, <laughs> we were talking earlier about this and I'm like, literally, you could be single right now and within a year you could have someone and have a baby, right? right. And then that baby in four years is going to a pre-K, which is a thing now in the yep. school district, right. and then kindergarten. So you really do have to think if I had to stay in this house because like you said appreciation or interest rates are so much higher and it's not you know really a good time to buy um, you have options yep. so besides school district let's talk about size of home and in the last couple of years at your house which yep. is a you have a really nice house yep. good size all the rooms you need right and all of a sudden through the pandemic things yep. shifted Yep, all five of us were home all of a sudden. Three kids, distance learning. Um, my husband working from home, myself working from home. So we had to turn bedrooms into classrooms and um, dining rooms into offices. And, and even though the pandemic, luckily most of us are back to normal, right. I think the work from home has just become normal. Right. You know, very normal for some people. So thinking about if you have room for that, you know, long term, because right. it can happen fast. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking everything happens fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're right, even if kids are back to school 100%, that, you know, hopefully that never happens again right. where they have to come home. Right. Right? <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> um, um, we do have a lot talking about that, I was starting to sweat right. right for you. <laughs> Yeah, right. we have work from home. I mean, a lot more people. And by the way, I mean, we're seeing that reflected even in new construction where it's not just this big open, you know, kitchen, living room, dining yeah. room, everything big and open. People are like, yeah, a little bit of a wall here and there is right. actually a good thing. And we're seeing that. Let's, I mean, and talk about, I want to talk about upsizing or even if you're going to remodel. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about if in, if interest rates grow, go up, you know, you're getting you're pulling equity, especially after the last two years. I mean, thinking yeah. in your case, I mean, from 2018 to now, weren't you like, ooh, oh yeah, <laughs> this is fun, <laughs> yeah, right, that'd be great. Yep. And so then you have to think about we're upsizing. So if you're paying, you're getting more for the house you're about to sell. Right. Also. Right. Right. So it all Definitely. pulling more equity out than you could have. Right. I mean, now it's not a bad time because you did have a lot of equity built up. Great. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. It, as overwhelming it is, as it is to look at the price of moving, you know, into that desired home, like we've done well. You know, yeah. obviously we could sell for pretty high right now too. Right. And so, so it all evens out. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, we talk about this a lot. School is coming up, right? September, you know, and a lot of people this month are like, is this the time we want to move? And if it is, and especially, and we talked about this with Stephanie a couple of weeks ago, so if you didn't see that, you know, we're kind of normalizing the market right now. 
So it's not a bad time to be a buyer and go get the home you want. Yeah, and get into that home before September, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we can make it happen. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) We know people. (laughs) All right. Thanks, you guys.